We were all poor, but we never knew we were poor. And uh, we, we, we just had a wonderful life. I mean, it would be something to leave the housing, to go up to Vespa Country Club at six in the morning, get back at six at night and make two dollars and go home and give a uh, $1.75 to your mother. And so when you had four boys doing that, it, it was just, we thought nothing of it. Life at North Common was uh, a lot of fun when I lived there. We moved in when I was uh, about four years old. And the roofs in those days were flat. And on um, the 4th of July, we would go up onto the roof and watch the fireworks. Uh, I don't know where they were being set off, but it was a great view. We saw it, it was great sitting up there. Pool at North Common, but we weren't allowed to cross Adams Street to go over to the pool. So uh, when it rained, that was, a real, uh, that was a great treat because all the kids would come out in their bathing suits and splash around the puddles in the yard. I never realized, I guess, growing up, how much Lowell Housing Authority really helped me until I would say after I graduated high school, it made a huge impact because growing up, when you're a kid, you don't really realize it. You don't worry about bills. You don't realize about anything, but you don't realize how much LHJ really helped you. Like, I'm a first generation of my family. It helped me a lot. Without them, I don't know if I could even further my education, to be honest. And I'm very thankful for that. We had got out of the service in 1958, and like I say, we were able to get in the housing at the time. And the housing at that time up there was a beautiful place to live. It was in the Grove section of the city of Lowell. It was just a terrific environment. Uh, it was very friendly. People really enjoyed and liked one another, and uh, it was just all good stuff. 